To start making a fuse, you need some aluminum foil that's about 8 inches in this direction. So my hand span is just about 8 inches. That's 20 centimeters. Now I'm cutting a strip that is about half an inch wide. That's a little more than one centimeter in width. There we go. Now I need to trim the aluminum foil to make a shape that looks like this. It's like an hourglass. It gets very thin here. So here I'm taking my piece of aluminum foil and folding it over. And now I will trim this top part here so that it looks pointy. This requires some skill. If I am careless or make a mistake, I'll have to start over. Okay. I'm zooming in here so you can see what I've done. There's my strip. It comes to a point. This top part here is very thin, about one millimeter is what I'm looking for. When I open this, I have to be careful. It's very fragile in the middle because it is so thin. All right. I now have my aluminum foil prepared. I need a support for the aluminum foil. So this is an index card I will cut into quarters and I need just one quarter of the index card to act as a support for the foil. I take the quarter index card, fold in half, and fold so it has little feet. So now it has little feet, it can stand. The paper must fit into the neck of the bottle. So here you can see this is too wide. I will trim it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I test and find that yes indeed the paper fits in the neck of the bottle. I also want to check to see whether the paper is wider than the foil. So you can see paper is wider than the foil. That's desirable. Now my fragile aluminum foil will be supported by the index card. So this is the desired configuration. You'll notice that there is a an air gap between the top of the paper and the top of the foil. So this air gap is important. I use tape and wrap the tape around the paper and the foil. So now it's secure, stands on its own, air gap on the top, very thin foil at the point. Also lots of aluminum foil here to make electrical connections. The rockets will be launched out of a ring stand in this orientation. To make the rocket launch we need to put a spark here inside the bottle. To get the spark into the bottle we'll use the igniter. It will go onto the launch pad in the center of the ring. Little tape will secure it. And it should be such that the bottle can go directly over the top, leaving you with the igniter inside the bottle. There you can see the igniter is inside the bottle. When the electricity goes through the aluminum, the very thin part will get very hot and will spark. 
To make the igniter spark, I need to pass electricity through the foil. This is a 12 volt transformer. I'll make connections on each side of the igniter. So there are electrical connections. At this time, the transformer is not plugged in, so no electricity is flowing. However, I will now plug in the electrical and we'll look for a spark right here at the tip. Three, two, one. That spark, if it occurred inside the bottle, would ignite the rocket. So the way we'll launch the rocket is by plugging in the transformer, sending the electricity through the aluminum foil. After you've sparked it, you can see the aluminum foil separated here. So a fuse that you build is one use only. Today you'll make one for practice and at least one, preferably two, for the actual launch day. The most common cause for failure in the rocket lab is a fuse that's built improperly where the thin part is not thin enough. Here you can see this is not close to one millimeter, it's more like three or four millimeters. When electricity goes through this, it will not spark. So make sure you cut your foil very thin so that it is sure to spark. Please clean up your mess. I do expect you to make a mess, but you should be able to clean it up.